We're looking at dry conditions on Doppler radar, and I do anticipate it's going to stay that way well through sundown. And for most areas, it will continue their 4th of July celebrations tonight, likely to skate through the evening with dry conditions. The shower threat that is west of us, a couple decaying or weakening showers and storms that could just drift to sprinkle our way west of Toledo as we get near or after dark. Better chance of storms is going to be developing. We're watching this area across southern Wisconsin. There's expected to be storms that develop in the next few hours in that area and that will be the cluster of storms that then move into our area overnight tonight. Bottom line, it's going to be active this week. Numerous storm chances. Now there is a risk of some stronger severe storms tomorrow. This is mainly tomorrow afternoon and evening into tomorrow night. I expect anything that comes into the area tonight would be below any severe threshold, but it may wake you up with some downpours and some rumbles of thunder. We logged another 90 degree day today, hit 92 degrees. That puts us at a dozen for the season and our average for the entire season is right around 19 days. We're already at the 4th of July holiday and we've got 12 as our hot weather continues this summer. Tomorrow is going to be another day up into the 90s. The dew points Tuesday are going to be sweltering with the heat and humidity. Back into the 70s, it will be borderline miserable with the heat and humidity for your Tuesday. Now, some of that hot weather that's going to be brewing across the southern and central plains is going to put a ridge in the jet stream. So bottom line, it is going to be an active stormy week with multiple clusters of storms coming over that ridge in the jet stream and essentially just funnels them right here into the lower Great Lakes. So if you're one that's in need of rain, should be able to solve that this week with plentiful amounts of rain. So let's put this in motion tonight into tomorrow morning. It's after midnight that those storms come into the area. 2 to 4 a.m. they arrive. They may be noisy with thunder and lightning and some torrential downpours possible into tomorrow morning. We'll get a lull in that activity by mid-morning tomorrow and mainly dry weather, and it will be hot and humid near 100 for tomorrow afternoon. How much rain to expect with that next round? could again bring another one to two inches of total rainfall. You'll see that in the numbers here. One to two inches of rain, not out of the question, just in the next 36 to 48 hours. Tonight, storms will be likely heavy downpours right around 71. We climb into the 90s tomorrow. The heat index will feel like 100 or warmer. It's going to be a sweltering hot and humid day. 80s expected Wednesday. More storm chances Wednesday, Thursday, an isolated storm on Friday, and then we'll be dry comfortable and less humid into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday look great. Sunshine and highs in the low 80s.